Hey, how's it going? Today I will be showing you five brand new glitches within Power World. This is completely brand new. I'm going to be showing you how to grab an infinite amount of gold keys and coins. Not to mention there's a bunch of other things I'll be showing you like how to instantly revive your Pokemon a different way and I mean full health. Then we're also going to move on to some other things. I mean it's just going to be a crazy video. If you're not subscribed, do that now and let's go ahead and dive right into this. Let's start off with the infinite gold coins and gold keys glitch. This right here can be done easily and what you need to do is fast travel to a specific location and take out an NPC. And you will also need a sword. If you do not have a sword, this is going to make things quite complex. So what we're going to do here is go over towards the bottom portion here and locate the desolate church. If you do not have the map revealed, do not worry. Just head from the bottom section here all the way towards the top left and you should be able to locate it. Once you have found the location, we then need to take a left turn here and go all the way over the cliff. What I recommend is using either a mount that you can fly with or you can ride. This is only going to make it easier so we can get to the point of interest fast and we just, you know, we're not taking too much time here. If you do not have a mount or, you know, uh, something that you can mount on, do not worry about it. You know, it's not a big deal. Just kind of walk over here, sprint over here, do what you got to do. But all you need to do is head over towards this general direction. I will say what we're going to be doing here too is capturing the NPC because there is something special as well with him. But what we're going to do here is land right here in front of the abandoned mineshaft. What you can see on the left side is that I do have a PAL board there. That's what I call it anyways. I'm sure it's a different name. Then if we go down below, you're going to see that it's completely dark. Now, it's not like that when it's pretty bright out here, but when it's dark outside, man, it definitely gets dark inside. So you will need a handheld torch just so you can kind of see where you're going. This is what I had to do at least. Now, as we do make our way down here, you're going to see an NPC in the distance. There might be a pal nearby, so just don't worry about it. What we're going to do is pretty much locate him right here in the middle. What you can see on the left side here is my loot, and what I'm going to do is just pick it up because I have some things inside it. This is not a part of the glitch. I actually died right here. This will make sense here soon, but what we need to do is open up our menu here and locate the sword and equip that to either the first, second slot, doesn't matter. Start slashing away and spam the F button. What you will notice is that the Black Marketeer is not going to attack as you do talk to him and slash him at the same time. We want to continue doing this until he's been defeated. Then he'll pop out some gold coins and a one solid gold key. What we could do is open up the menu here and return to title. Once you're at the front of the title here, we're going to then click Start Game. Once you have clicked Start Game, you should obviously see your island, then start it. When you're back inside the game, you're going to notice that the boss has respawned Essentially, that's what I'm calling them. Anyways, once you do see him, you can then start slashing away and tapping the F button. If you feel like it, you can definitely use the infinite stamina glitch if that's something that you would like to do. This was discovered by a Discord user over on the Glitch Unlimited Discord named Amenity. Thank you so much for sending this to me, and I appreciate just the words that you said about me with my whole situation. Uh, you know what's up. Also, while you're at it, if you feel like it, you can actually capture this Black Marketeer and bring him back to your camp. I'm not too sure if that's supposed to happen. I know you can capture pals or like humans in general, but I did not think you could actually capture the Black Marketeer because it's actually pretty OP. The reason why is because if you bring him over to your camp and then you summon him down, you can then purchase pals from him, open up the menu, leave and join back and purchase more pals. You can have them right near you at all times. This way you do not even need to leave your camp to go buy some pals on the, uh, you know, from the black market here. I was going to say black market, but yeah, this right here can be done. So for example, if you take a look here, I'm going to go ahead and purchase some from them. Now, while I'm at it, I do want to explain one thing about this spot right here. It's quite useful because when you do camp here, you can then spawn down this version of that black market here that you're going to be purchasing pals from. Then once you, you know, run out of gold coins, you can head back inside the abandoned mine shaft pick up some more gold coins, some more gold keys, head back outside of here once you have done, you know, farming it up and purchase some more. And again, if you want to restart the whole entire selection of pals, all you need to do is then exit out of the menu, go ahead and start the game, load it back up, and then once you're back inside, you will see that the inventory for him has been completely reset.
This means you can buy even more pals, and if you want, you can actually complete the whole pal deck if you feel like it. There's one more thing I would like to mention within this is that I'm not too sure if this is a glitch. I'm pretty sure you can capture this guy, but are you supposed to? I noticed that in the inventory there when I was selecting my different pals, it showed an icon but did not show his face, so I'm not too sure if this is intended. But let's go ahead and move on and talk about the instant revive. This is a new way to instantly revive your Pokemon all the way. What you need to do is go near this pal board here and we're going to then pick up our pal. Let's head over towards the back section here and I'm going to throw him right off the cliff. Once I do throw him off, he's going to suffer damage. Mostly, most likely I will not be able to use him. What I'll need to do is head back to that pal board. Again, I know it's not called a pal board, but that's what I like to call it. We're going to then take out that pal and equip him to our party. Then we want to open up the menu and we want to remove that pal. When we do remove that pal, what's going to happen is that it's going to drop on the floor. Do not pick your pal back up. What you're going to do instead is you're going to drop him, then head over towards the inventory here so that you can select a pal, and you want to fill up your pal party. For example, do not drop the fella on the ground like I've done here. So we want to equip him to our party and then pick up the pal ball. What you will see is that the Depresso has been revived completely. You can do this for pretty much any pal. And I'll show you another example right here. I'm going to grab this fella, equip him to my party, and then I'm going to drop him. When I drop him, I'll then head back towards the inventory so I can choose a pal, and I'll select the pal of my choice. It does not matter which pal it is, we just want to completely fill up our party. Pick up the pal ball, and then when you look inside, completely revived. You're good to go. Alrighty, moving along here, we're going to talk about the overweight grappling hook glitch. This can be done somewhat early, but what you will need to do is acquire the grappling hook. You do need to grab a certain amount of XP, right, to, uh, you know, purchase these technologies. But once you do have the technologies, you're going to then head over towards the weapon workbench. Next, we want to locate the grappling hook, which can be found on the bottom here. Once you have crafted the grappling hook, or possibly you may already have it, we next need to grab some weight. So what I'll do here is I'll grab a bunch of my electric organs here because I have quite a lot. Now I'm overweight. What I'll do is then open up the menu here and choose the grappling hook. Make sure that it is equipped. Shoot the grappling hook so that it can move you. And what you will notice is that, yeah, you're overweight and you're still moving. But then when you try to use that grappling hook again, it's not going to allow you to do that. What you will need to do is unequip the grappling hook, throw it back on, and then you should be good. Now what happens if you latch yourself onto a wall? You will need to remove the material so that you can drop down and pick that material back up. You will then want to use the grappling hook so that you can travel where you need to go. For example, I want to move some of this stuff. The best way to do this is with a grappling hook. I'm going to travel downwards and head towards a chest so I could store all of my electric organs. Continuing on, we're going to talk about the last and final glitch. This has to do with the Jet Dragon boss, and we're going to be able to take him out instantly. You will need a Pokemon that can then freeze him, but if you do not have this, make sure that you grab one and level it up. Once you do, we are going to head towards a weapon assembly, because we do want to craft down a rocket launcher. You will need to also craft down a missile. The good thing is that you only need one missile. You do not need, like, a bunch. You just need one. We're going to pretty much one-shot this dragon. And the only way to pick up that specific missile launcher or the rockets is to craft a weapon assembly line too. You will also need to unlock this stuff in general and that's in your technology tab as you can tell right here. The assembly line number two can be found right here on the bottom and this is going to be at level 47 and you can find the missile launcher and the missile ammo right here at level 49. And when you do have both of these and you have them all equipped, we can then head over towards the destination. If you go towards the fast traveling option here, we can then go towards the bottom left and we want to locate the boss right here. As you can see, it says Jet Dragon. There's also a fast travel nearby. Make sure that you do climb this just in case you make some sort of mistake. This way you can get back right to it. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, let's head towards the Jet Dragon. What you're going to see right here is that I'm going to use my Frozen Breath or more so my pal is going to. You may need to wait for it to happen. You can obviously tell your pal to attack and you're going to make sure that the missile is in your inventory and it's equipped. Shoot the rocket, the dragon is going to shoot straight up in the air, 
and it's going to fall down and you're just going to receive all the stuff. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that from the previous videos, definitely ask down below in this comment section. Or what you can do is head over towards the Discord, join up down below, you'll see a link or you can talk to me over on Twitter, either or, right? Make sure that you are subscribed as well and you have those notifications on. Thank you guys so much for the support. It's been overwhelming in a good sense. And I just love talking to you all about glitches. And if you have any glitches that you have discovered, whether that be Cyberpunk, a newer game like, uh, you know, I don't know, whatever new game's coming out in the future. If you have anything like that, send it over to me and I will definitely check it out. Thank you guys so much for the support and I'll see you all in the next video.